Hello. Today I'm going to tell you about the only four CDs I've ever owned. Yes, in my entire 33 years on this earth, I've only ever owned four CDs. That accomplishment or uh, failure doesn't mean quite as much as it used to. I'm sure there are plenty of kids today in their teens and early 20s who've owned zero CDs for their entire life. They just stream everything. Good for you. Um, you know, I'm. I guess I've never owned an 8-track, I've never owned a cassette, I've never owned a record. Actually, I take that back. When I was little, I had those little mini records that you would uh, put on to, to play books, to read storybooks, and they were awesome. That was better than anything ever put out on a CD or an iTunes file or anything else. Uh, but back in the day, four CDs, and I'm going to tell you about them. Why should you care? You shouldn't. But you're already like 30 seconds into this video, so what do you have to lose? Just Let's just go with it. Uh, so when I was in eighth grade, I decided I should start liking music. Not because I had any desire to listen to music, but because I decided I should probably have something in common with the kids around me other than being vaguely human and also breathing oxygen and eating food. I thought maybe, just maybe at some point in my life I should try to fit in. And music seemed like a good way. So I asked for a CD player for Christmas and it was like a giant boombox type thing. I might still have it in this house somewhere. And, uh, and I had to get a CD to go with it. And I, I knew literally zero bands. So I thought what kind of bands would be socially acceptable for me, an eighth grade boy to listen to, to fit in with other guys? Well, clearly, because I'm a guy, I can't listen to a female sing. You know, I gotta listen to a guy sing. How about the Backstreet Boys? Surely that's what the cool guys are listening to, the Backstreet Boys. I, I could not have made a worse choice. Not, not to slight the Backstreet Boys in any way. Honestly, their music is too catchy, and um, I, I'm not gonna lie, when it comes on the radio on the oldie stations now, I, I don't change it. I couldn't actually tell you what any of their songs are called now, but I kind of vaguely recognize it. So I got a Backstreet Boys CD. I invested, you know, 10 or $12, whatever it was back then. And I got this CD. I have no idea what it was called. I just remember it was the Backstreet Boys. And I listened to it a few times. I thought, okay, that's it. Now I'm going to fit in. Yeah, it didn't quite work. Shocking. Spoiler alert. <laughs> I'm still socially awkward as ever. So I kept going. I thought, okay, who else, uh, who else can I listen to that's a little, a little cooler than the Backstreet Boys uh, to fit in at my tiny Catholic school? Like, honestly... There were 40 kids in my grade. I don't even know who I was trying to uh, to fit in with. There, were, there was nobody there, but that didn't deter me. So I thought, okay, Will Smith. So I got two Will Smith CDs. It was one of them was the one with Miami on it, one where they go down to Miami and the, the heat is on and I'm not going to sing it or rap it or whatever it is he does. Um, yes, I, I am a worse rapper than Will Smith. I'm a worse rapper than everybody on the face of the earth, including people who don't rap at all. Um, so, and, and the other one was, it was the one with getting jiggy with it on it. I think that, uh, that, that might have been the same CD, but I definitely had two different CDs of his. There was also a song that uh, the only words were pump me up over and over and over again. That song did not pump me up. Uh, but it's the only song to this day that I know all of the words to completely. I can I can remember two words. I've, I've got the lyrical capacity of a goldfish. Go me. So okay. So I, my my music collection was pretty full. I mean, what human being would need more than three CDs? But somehow I guess I don't know if I was in, in high school at this point. But I thought you know what I'm going to add a fourth CD to round this out. And. I think by that point I had watched MTV once and I saw Kid Rock on it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get a Kid Rock CD. And it was the one with I'm a Cowboy on it. Yeah. I told you I was going to tell you what four CDs I owned. I can't name any of them, but I can vaguely describe them so that you may or may not be able to figure it out. Uh, I bought that CD and the main thing I remember from it is the cover art on it just had like a hand giving you the middle finger, which is really... A pretty apt description of the music buying experience and so I listened to that one several times and then I decided you know what I'm done with owning music forever and I never to this day have bought another CD or uh, downloaded any other actually I, I take that back I downloaded one song I downloaded the song for um, for my podcast 10 minutes to save your marriage the theme song on there it was technically like open source, uh, whatever it was, you know, the, the copyright had been lifted to put in the public domain, but 
I made a $15 donation because I thought, you know what, I'm going to use this to lose money every week on a podcast, so the guy who made this should make some money off of me. Uh, but beyond that, yeah, only those four CDs. I don't know where they are. I'd like to think they've all been destroyed, but it's possible they're buried in a drawer someplace at my parents' house. Maybe after the end of the world, when archaeologists 2,000 years or 10,000 years from now are digging through the rubble of our civilization, they will come across those four CDs buried at my parents' house, still in working order. And they'll think to themselves, man, the kid who bought these four CDs was really cool and had great taste in music, and I bet we would have really liked to be his friend. Or maybe they'll look at that and say, man, that was one really sad cry for help. It's probably for the best that this world ended. And they will be right. So that is the full extent of my music library that may or may not exist at my parents' house. Uh, thank you for joining for me for this uh, walk down memory lane. Sorry I couldn't actually name any of the CDs, but I'm sure if you know anything about old music, and it makes me sad that I do have to call it old music, but if you know anything about that, you can probably figure out which ones they were, because I sure can't. All right, thank you.